Hello, Artem. How are you doing? We'll be getting started in just a little while, everybody. We'll be getting started between the four-minute mark and five-minute mark on the stream timer down below. So get yourself strapped in. We'll be getting started in just a little while. Hey Demon, how you doing man? You need sleep and you have class. Yeah, that's the college life. I'm glad I don't miss it. <laughs> I'm smudge on my glasses again. Now time for the uh I guess I could call it the 60th and 61st playthrough of Elden Ring now. Jeez. I still don't get tired of these games, not that much. I'm doing okay. I'm having some issues with um, this eye right here. Uh, I think I, I just blame the weather. It's getting a little... It's just really, really dry might uh be poking at it a little bit while i stream but it's nothing too serious uh, uh, i'm gonna pop my arms there all righty let's see what we can do all right hopefully the volume is fine There we go. I was wondering when my live notification was going to go off. Awesome. We did the thing. We did a thing. We did a thing. Ah, oh, that's interesting news. Okay. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I, I, I like um, Elden Ring as well. Um, it's kind of my number two slot of favorite Souls game. Um, I'd have to say though that uh, Dark Souls uh, Remastered is now number three for me. Yeah. Plus you can tell I really do love... Um, this game because on my PlayStation 5 I have both the PlayStation 4 version and the PlayStation 5 version on my PlayStation here but I don't have my saves um, linked so instead of me having 10 slots to make characters I have 20 <laughs> because sometimes I just make really good builds um, in Souls games, and I just don't want to get rid of it, you know. But this is the PS5 version I'm playing right here. But, uh, but yeah. See, for a regular player, 10 is enough in terms of um, making characters. But for a build maker like me, though. 10 was not enough for me. <laughs> it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. Hey, Shadow, there you are. I was wondering where you were. 
All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So hello, Internet, your friendly neighborhood gaming machine here. And today, welcome back to Soulsborne Wednesday. And today on Soulsborne Wednesday, we're doing some more Elden Ring. Um, if you check the title, you'll notice that I am going to be starting two playthroughs around the same time. Uh, the reason for it is um, when it comes to making Jar-sama... Um, it's basically going to be like a preparation stream um, for like next Wednesday when I give him all of his gear and stuff like that. Um, and then after that, I'll be actually starting legitly Shod the Wall, which is uh, modeled after my little brother, God rest his soul. Because um, why not? Because why not? Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started, so let's go ahead and make Jarsama. Um, this, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So, according to my build notes, we're going to go with Hero, because why not? Jarsama is going to be a male. Alright. Um, I already have uh, his template ready. Um, and it's, and it's going to be rather funny. Um, so, I'm going to go to load favorite. We're making a Giga Chad. <laughs> We're making Jarsama as Giga Chad. And uh, in case people are wondering, that's Shod the Wall. He's labeled after my little brother. Um, sorry about the zoom in there. Um, that's Shod the Wall underneath all the armor. You know, but we're making Giga Chad. Yes. Um, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys get a nice little look at that beautiful face. That took me a good solid hour to do. Because I don't look at character sliders. I don't look at those types of videos. I go in completely blind. All I have was like a picture um, like from like Google Images or whatever, and I just go on and copy it. And uh, yeah, that that that's Giga Chad and his beautiful chin, got him smiling and stuff too. That's basically what Jar Sama's gonna look like before he gets his armor and his amazing weapons of power. Um, so yeah, I is here one second after you. Yeah, I mean, that's when my phone went off and you burned it. Okay. Well, come on in, Rumble. Um, so, yeah. This is going to be what's going to become Jarsama. And, as you can tell, Giga Chad. I, I, I had to. I had to make Giga Chad. So, yeah. Um, that, that's how we're going to do this. Um, what do I want his voice to be? No. no, needs to be a little, a little older. No. I'll do mature too. Sure, I'll do mature too. That sounds much better. Um, keepsake. Mm. Let's go with the regular golden seed. All right. And his name, which will live in infamy, is the almighty, powerful, and pure Jarsama. Um... And uh, the plus two clear piece of G is a hot on my end. Okie dokie. Alright. So there's Jar Sama. Um we're gonna we're going to watch the intro as always, because it's fucking epic as hell. And uh we're gonna go from there. So is everybody ready? If someone gives me the let's go, I will go ahead and start. And I'll show you how I played the game. Because from uh, what my mods have told me, 
Nobody plays a Souls game like I do. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll do it to it. Alright. Now let's enjoy this beautiful intro. <clears throat> The PlayStation 5 version of the intro. Tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered in our home. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knights, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. <laughs> Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Now, ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. For alone, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant. Gold mask. Fear the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othnir. The all knowing. Tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elder Ring and become. The Elden Lord. You know, I never get tired of that intro. But I will say it rivals the hell out of uh, Bloodborne's intro and um, Dark Souls Remastered's intro. It, it just totally does. It just totally freaking does. Alright, let's get... Do this with the gestures. Just doing some stuff here. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that one for now. All right. So first off, 
Let's take this thing off his head. Almighty Giga Chad, my dude. Almighty Giga Chad. Alright, let's go. Alright. Yeah, for right now, he's Giga Chad until he gets his jar head and he becomes Jar Sama. Look at him, he's just smiling deep into your soul. You're gonna let Giga Chad into your soul. Yeah, just 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 soak it all in, chap. Just just soak it all in. And there you go. Chapel of anticipation. off of a cliff because that's just how things go so let's start running I do love the fact that when you run when you're not in combat it takes no stamina whatsoever catch you later all right yeah just let it all soak in bro We'll watch this part two here. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Hmm. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. It is pretty cool, though, that they got the voice actress that played Yorkshka in Dark Souls 3 to do the voice of Melina. I, I think that's pretty damn cool. Just wish, in my opinion, that Elden Ring story was a little better. But the mechanics and all that, even the boss, is freaking cool. But I just wish that the story was a little better. But I guess in defense of it, it's very open-ended. So, it is what it is. Alright, so I always do the tutorial because that's an easy amount of runes to get the crafting kit from Kali. So we're going to go and do that. We're going to two-hand our axe. And thank you to the two PC people watching and all the mobile people watching. I really appreciate you guys coming out. I really do. I still find it funny that when it comes to uh, Twitch chat, um, for some reason, it doesn't count mobile, people watching on mobile. It only counts P people watching on PC. I find that really weird. Did a little more of my research recently on that. I just find it funny. I guess that kind of goes with the whole love for mobile that Twitch has, which it really doesn't. Um, but it is what it is, so. It is what it is. Excuse me. All right, come here, you. Let's do a little do -si do until I get you right in that bag. 
have a seat. Okay. What you gonna do? Not a damn thing. stroll through the tutorial because I love the fact that the tutorial does reward you in a way gives you just enough crafting uh, enough uh, rooms to buy a crafting kit it's 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 really really good because the crafting kit in my opinion is uh, the, one of the best items in the game and it only just costs a couple hundred runes All right, let's deal with the strongest boss in the game. That was totally a tough boss. Oh my god, man. Let's get rid of that. Because he is Giga Chad, uh, we are going to give him that nice, beautiful uh, strength right there. That, 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 oh no, wait, that's Beckett. Um, strength, 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 strength. Which one was it? This one. There we go. There we go. Let's do it. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wild Strikes is a very good Ash of War. I've just yet to find a good weapon that it is good on a good build. That, that's, a, that's a good way to put it. Like, when I think that I've gotten a good build set uh, with a particular Ash of War, I end up going right back to the drawing board. Because of just how weird it is. Because um, what I've learned with builds in um, Elden Ring versus like Dark Souls 3 and even Bloodborne. Is there is uh, literally, and I mean literally, much more um, weaknesses in builds in Elden Ring. Than there is in like Dark Souls 3 and uh, Bloodborne. That's why it's a little harder, in my opinion, to make builds in Elden Ring. I always end up, like, um, going back to the drawing board. But I learned from those. I mean, I guess it could work for a Guts build, but here's the funny thing about it. If it's a meme build, I'll try it and see how it works out for me. But... I like builds where I can put a little bit of my soul in every character that I make. See, while I make builds that anybody could use, I make builds that adapt to how I play. Um, but I'm always open to trying new things. That's usually what I do. That's just how I do things. You're tarnished. I can see it. Hello, Carly. I can also see that you're not after my throat. No, I'm not going to kill you. Just a little something. I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Yes, you are. Also known as Santa. You Recommendation. Know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself. Oh, I know about the rebirth option. I do. You're telling me stuff I already know. This is like my 60th something playthrough. I I already know, dude. Trust me, I do. I've even plat I've even platinum the game. Trust me, I know. It's just... When a build doesn't click with me, 
I just tend to either delete the character or start over. Because something I've been teaching uh, Mr. Rumble Roses um, and everything lately is while your starting class slash origin isn't important really, it is important at the same time. Because the worst thing ever is putting your stats in something you don't need them to be in. Um, so that's why I don't tend to do the rebirth option that much. Unless, you know, it's an experiment or something like that. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I think more like a technical Souls player than somebody that reuses stuff, if that makes any sense. I'm a very technical person. You know. Alright, so I'm going to do this the way I always do things. My starts are usually the same. Nah, I don't want any of you to. You can go somewhere with all that noise. He's chasing my ass, dude. All right, another flower. We're going to be collecting a lot of flowers, too. All right, so this is how I usually do my runs. I don't talk to Melina yet. I, uh, I do a lot of preparing on my own before I uh, bring in my horse, which you'll see very soon. First off, I want my map. All right. Because this is basically what the stream is going to be for uh, Jarsama in the beginning here, is me just preparing for what needs to get done. But the part two of this stream, though, will be... Uh, me starting legitly with Shod the Wall, which he is exactly what you would think he is. He is a wall. Um, he wears the full bull goat set, and he has a blood-infused fingerprint stone shield. And I'm going to attempt to get through as much of the game as possible with just that fucking sh uh, shield. And when I feel the game gets too hard and rambunctious for my build, I'll probably bring in uh, one of my lifelines, which is uh, Shadow. But that's not going to happen for a good while. That's not going to happen for a good, good while. All right, so let's pick that up because it's there. We're going to watch out for Mr. Dismounter right there because that's a really big freaking sword that hurts. I hate when he chases the hell out of me, too. I fucking hate it. He has the perception of a fucking stalker. Leave me alone, you son of a bitch. I'm warning you. Now, you can also get yourself a free um, golden seed from uh, killing Kenneth Height if you want to. But Jarasama's not an evil guy. He's not going to do it. And the thing is, is once I actually did do and finish Kenneth Height's quest around one of my first few playthroughs, I was like, eh, Kenneth Height kind of gets on my fucking nerves. I don't really like Kenneth Height. I know what he was supposed to be, though, in terms of the uh, cut content. I know what he was supposed to be, but I kind of wish that they kept it uh, like that. Because, yeah, don't worry. I know a lot about a lot of the cut content for a lot of Souls games, including Elden Ring. So, trust me at that. Also, Mr. Rumble Roses, if you are in chat right now, would you mind shouting out Coach in the Squad, please? I would really like to give a shout out to that amazing man. He's been working really hard with his uh, rebanding of his channel and... He is a really, really good close friend now. 
to um, myself and even Mr. Rumble Roses. And if Rumble doesn't get it, maybe Shadow can do it. No, I'm not going to suck you. No. I don't, I don't roll like that, man. That's nasty. He's so nasty. So nasty. Disgusting. Alright. So we're going to go over here. Pick up our flask of Wanderers Physic. Also going to pick up our uh, nice little seed here, too. Can you guys hear me okay? I don't, I no one's really talking in chat or um, or doing anything I've been saying. I'm just checking to see if uh, you guys can still hear me. Ah, uh, fucking dragonfly. It's just coach and the squad without any spaces. Because apparently Rumble doesn't want to pay attention. I know he's addicted to Bloodborne like I am, but geez, Rumble. Being such a butt. <laughs> Alright, so the main hard part about the run that I'm trying to do right now is the fucking rune bears. I hate rune bears. They get on my nerves. Uh, yep, that's it. Thank you very much, Shadow. He is a uh, coach, is a very, very close friend of mine. Um, I would really appreciate it if everybody watching would please go give him a follow. Um, he does. A lot of Madden content, he's one of the only sports streamers that I follow because I'm not much of a sports person, but he's an exception because he's extremely charismatic and he's just plain fucking funny. Um, but uh, he's been trying to do a rebranding of the channel. Oh my god, that's a room bear right there. Um, I want these flowers. Um, he's trying to do a rebranding on his channel and everything. Um, I like trying to help him out in any way that I can. So, um, please go give him a follow. He's been trying to space out other type of content as well. He does content with his, uh, kids. And, uh, he's just been experimenting the waters a little bit. So, you know, go check him out and everything like that. Let him know Onyx sent you. Blythe. You could have said something. The Lord Duke Nukem gave you a mouth. You are expected to use it. Just don't use it like one of his hoes, though, because that's kind of nasty. Um, yeah, use your mouth. But not like that. I, lo I love my Duke Nukem impressions. Hey, don't look at me like that, you fuckers. Alright, another flower. I know I've missed some flowers, but that's because, you know, rune bears. I don't like rune bears. Never gonna like rune bears. They're cool, but damn, are those things fucking annoying. Like, dead serious. I swear, rune bears are worse than those, uh, than the movie Cocaine Bear, dude, I'm telling you. And I saw that movie. That's a hilarious movie. Well, people probably think it's gory, which it is. Um, but I guess in my defense, even some of the best horror movies or thrillers can have a bit of a funny sense to them. I guess it's because of just like the, like, uh, the creativity. That's a good way to put it, I guess. Look at these guys trying to run after me. Look at these guys, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't this some funny fuck shit right here? 
They're like, oh, look, it's a tarnished. I'm going to go poke him with my stick. While me, I'm just like, okay. I'm just running. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just running around like an asshole. Because that's, that's just what I do. I'm just going to run like a freaking asshole. All right, so because we're not in the main hub area of, of where Melina would spawn, she's not going to appear at certain graces. So, yeah. I also love the fact that if you look at the spark of the grace very carefully, it literally looks just like a, um, a um, humanity sprite from Dark Souls Remastered. Except it's not black and white. It's literally just gold. It's freaking cool. I love, I love that. All right, map time. All right. Let's see. Next spot I need to go to. Hmm. Sure. We'll head to the south part of the map. We'll pick up, um... The, um, the sacred seed for, well, the sacred tear for our flask. And I believe there is another, yeah, there's another golden seed. I should be able to reach it. Usually I use my uh, horse to get it, but I'm going to try and make an exception. And yes, before anybody ever asks, I've literally done everything in this game. I, I have. Um, every single quest, I've done it. From like Bach to even Kenneth Height to Alexander's, which is a quest that made me very, very sad because I love Alexander. He is hilarious. Yeah, get away from me with that dismounter. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, those dudes in particular, they use a sword called the Dismounter. It is a sword that is literally used for um, killing horses, of all things. Um, because that's, how, that's why it's called Dismounter. Um, but it is a very hard-hitting sword in the early game. Trust me when I say that. It hits real hard. Alright. But, um... There is still some builds I want to... Uh, work on. Um... I really do need to try and make a really good, um... Faith build. But the problem is with faith builds is they're terrible in late game. Because literally almost everything, I couldn't get that um, flower in time. Um, literally, oh, there's no, there's one right there I can get. Um, all of the final bosses, I guess you could say. I'm not going to say like the optional ones, but. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going to give uh, really any boss name spoilers, but I will give off um, one location where, um, starting from that location and forward, it makes the game harder if with a faith build, and that is for Rumazula. Um, from the start of Rumazula to around the end of the game. Um, faith builds are kind of trash. Fuck off. Gotta love that phantom range that some of the weapons have. I'm, I'm telling you. Um, and w one of the ways that I learned um, about faith builds was when I made my bubble build. It is so strong against one particular enormous enemy. Um, and how much it melted the hell out of that enemy. 
I was very, very surprised about it. Um, but after that so-called enormous boss enemy, that's when the game started getting harder um, in terms of faith builds. So on my bucket list, I'm trying to find a legit good faith build that will be, I guess, efficient and usable in late game. But um, I haven't really found anything on that yet. And I do a lot of serious uh, research when it comes to Souls games. Fuck off. Fuck off, you damn dog. Go away. Hate that. Hate dogs in this game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, and usually, when it comes to my research, I pass along my um, findings to people like Mr. Rumble Roses and Shadow. And they take it however they want to. Like, I know for a fact that uh, by the time Rumble starts Elden Ring, he'll, he'll know just enough to get him out of certain situations. Hey, I should... Uh, I'm not going to get the map yet. Not just yet. I can easily go and get that later. Um, I do need to get the Golden Seed, and then I need to get the Sacred Tear. Question is, can I get the Golden Seed without my horse? We're going to find out. I need to look over here and see where this would take me here. Because if you see right there in the middle, right there, that is the golden seed sapling I need to get to. Um, yeah, I should be able to get to that. Let's drop down and see what happens. Let's see what we can do here. Really? Thank you. All right. Which way did it go? Check over on this side here. I'm also getting the scope of certain things too. It's another reason why I do what I do. Alright, so there's the golem. Let's go back here. Yeah, there's the sapling right there. Yeah, I should be able to reach that. Alright, so, let's see. Ah, damn, really? Okay. Let's see, let's try this. Ah! There we go. Had to do something similar to the tree skip in Dark Souls 3 to do that. There we go. Alright, next. I'm going to drop down. Uh, let me check something. Alright, so yeah, the map is over here. Watch out. That is the sound of something that could be very hurtful if it hits me. We don't need to go back there yet, though. There's some more stuff I want to get. Plus, flowers. 
I always use this time to get as many herd leaf flowers as possible because all you need is those gold herd leaf flowers and you can make uh, furloin finger remedies so you can activate cooperation. You know, I know some people that say that Elden Ring's co-op system is considered hard. Like, um, trying to play with friends. Honestly, it's not. Um, as long as you take your time with your leveling and you pick flowers and you get your crafting kit, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of yellow-eyed rats here. I need to avoid them as much as possible. Alright, so I need to get my sacred tear. That's going to be over here. In uh, the church. We're going to take you guys to church. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Okay. There we go. Alright. Welcome to the village. Enjoy your stay. Alright. Let's see. Oh. You fell out of the sky. Gotta love it. Alright. Now if I can do this right. I should be able to pick up the tear. And get the F out. Let's see how this treats me. Alright. Let's see if I get myself some good RNG here. Oh. That was a little dentful. But I got it. It made me jump a little bit too. I usually get... I usually do like that. When I'm uh, in full concentration mode. When I'm, when I'm like immersed with my actions I do that a lot I'm a very serious gamer I treat a lot of games very very seriously um, I do have my goofy moments people know that I do I just have to warm up to the goofiness if that makes any sense but uh, aside from that though I am a very very serious gamer I have a really really good memory too in terms of uh, doing certain things in games. Um, it doesn't even matter how long I haven't played a game. I tend to remember how to do it. Um, it's one of my blessed but cursed qualities about myself. Um, just simply because. Okay, so got all that stuff. Now, let's see where I need to go next. Um, because I have a lot of different options. Okay, let's go to Gatefront. I'm not going to talk about talk to Molina yet. I know when I'm going to do it. Now it's time to go through the gate without my horse. So first off, get my flower. We're going to run our ass out. Watch out for the troll. Serpentine. Jump through. Whatever you do, don't look back. You're not going to like what you see if you look back. Just fucking run. As you probably see that right there, he's going he's gonna to roar at me. He's probably going to roar at me. He's going to knock me off my feet. Yep. I hate that freaking attack that he does there. Okay. Golden seed. Flower. I go this way uh, when I'm around this area so I can avoid the spawn of the a uh, couple wolves. That would appear a couple meters that way. Um, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I just do it so I don't have to worry about other things trying to chase me. Especially when I'm on foot this whole entire freaking time. Also, the people lurking in chat, I hope I'm not boring you or anything. This is just how I do things. This is just how I roll. 
And it tends to work. Alright, so let's see. I could activate Molina now. But... I don't think I will yet. I do need to talk to her until she talks about pain. And later on when she goes to the um, round table hold, there will be a, uh, a golden seed where she sits, which will be very useful for me. All right, let's go get our red finger. That'll probably be useful. Let's check and chat, see if anybody's saying anything. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go get our red finger. We're going to run from the recusant that's going to invade our world over here. We're not gonna fuck with him. Don't need to. To be completely honest, we don't need to. I do need to be careful of these bats because they will chase my ass all the way to Kingdom Come. I don't like the siren bats, though. They are an enemy that I cannot stand in this game. I, I just don't like them. Alright, where's the drop-off point? Okay, it's over here. When it comes to this drop-off point, I usually use my horse over here, but I'm making an exception for you guys. I'm showing you how much of this game you can do without the horse um, and everything. It's rather hilarious. Even though I do recommend using your horse in the game, it's very useful using Torrent. But you can do, you can have a really solid beginning of the game getting stuff um, without your horse. It's, it's very possible. And uh, you're going to see that firsthand with what I'm doing right now. Oh, that's funny. He's going to invade. Red finger. Roll. Okay. Gonna run. I get my red finger because it helps with uh, item drops and stuff when I'm uh, making specific builds with Shadow. Um. Because as a build maker, I like, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I like having certain things drop to certain characters. Because as a build maker, it's not just like um, one third or two third playthroughs. It can even be full playthroughs, depending on my usage of the build. It's just seeing how certain things work. I do one day want to make a jack-of-all-trades type of build where I can use any weapon in the game. That is something that's on my list, but it's still something that I'm researching. Um, and it's going to take me a while to do it. Because, see, someone could, you know, recommend a video or an article for me to read, but... It takes more than an article and a video to uh, fix up any research I try to do, if that makes any sense. I like making sure that I can do it before I recommend it to other people. Yeah, a little bit of game slow downstairs, but it's not too bad. Yeah, these guys are going to wake up. I'm doing this right here to activate the grace at uh, before Margit. It's uh, needed. All right, I got a few people chasing me. Oh, it's just one. I can take him out. Alright. 
Let's see here. Um, do I want to activate my horse now? All right. Let's talk to the mysterious waifu. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Yes, you are. <clears throat> One day I hope we get more lore toward Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, mm. turning wounds into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Earth Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Mm. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. And you know, I have that exact ring, too, on the side of my TV. <laughs> Use it I do. to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. <sighs> Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Will do. Add more flask and the charges. All right. Now we're gonna go to the Church of L and go talk to uh, Frost Waifu, as people call her. This way, tarnished. May I have a word? Hello, Frost Waifu. A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch Drenna. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yes. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Like, it still bothers me in terms of lore. How the hell does Ronnie know Melina? Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. Summon them with I've been trying to theorize about that since the game came out. The spirits will obey thine command. So actually, we're getting close to um, the one year anniversary of Elden Ring. To do it as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. Mm. How long will it be, I wonder, before the Tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Mm. The two fingers. All right, we're going to pick that flower there. All right. Sit there. All right. I know I can talk to Melina. I'm not going to. I'm trying to think where I want to go next because I got I got a lot of options. Um, I got just the thing. 
Let's go to Liernia. Go activate some more graces. Because like I said, I'm, I'm not done yet. I have a lot more I have to do. All right, let's go, Torrent. All right, so I'm gonna take a shortcut that a very close friend of mine told me around my first playthrough. And because I promised him, I have never forgotten his tip and I never will. So there is a way to bypass a lot of bosses in this game to unlock new areas and explore. The game does promote that you explore. But you're also here watching a man that has no life whatsoever except to adapting to a many different types of varieties of games. Um, one of the reasons why I love um, all Souls games except for Dark Souls 2. And before anybody asks that's new to the channel, no, I do not consider Sekiro as a Souls game. But, um, I have a very good memory when it comes to, um, games like this. Like hell, it's been many months since I've played Dark Souls Remastered, but I could tell you, um, how to get to certain areas. I could even show you how I would get through, uh, the game as well. It, that's just how things are with me. Sometimes it usually takes me like at least one playthrough or like I'd say a couple hours with a game to become fully adapted to it. Unless they give me like new um, um, abilities and stuff. In that particular case, I'll have to adapt to adding more stuff to my repertoire. But, uh,. But yeah. Plus, keep in mind, after my first playthrough and everything, I explored a lot of this game. Like, I, I really did. I explored a whole lot of this game. And I bet you nine times out of ten, I haven't found every single cave in this game. And... Hey, I don't mind that. Alright, so let's see. Map. Right up here. I'm not going to use a marker because um, it'll be a bitch to get the marker off because of these guys. Right, let me get these guys off the map. Pick up the map, Torrent. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm not going to activate the round table hold yet because I don't need to right now. real quick we're gonna make a marker there also these guys that keep spawning out of the ground with a yellow wraith type of uh, auras their biggest weakness is literally faith builds if you use healing spells around them of any kind um, the aura from your healing spell will deal damage to them. Um, it's very, very cool. I dig it. I, I, I dig it. Let's see. 
Oh, so you gotta be careful because there's some lobsters here. Speak of the devil. And it's probably gonna shoot me with some of that shit. Out. Damn it. And that's why I hate those lobsters. I was almost there, too. It's okay. It's fine. They're lobsters, and I hate them. That's what I was trying to aim for right there, and I was almost there. All right, we'll try it again. Right. Get on your horse. Okay. It's fine. All right. Now let's try to get to where we need to be going. Because, yeah, like the crabs, the debut of these fucking lobsters. Mm. I hate the lobsters. <laughs> let's try this again. Watching the water. Ah, uh, not again. No, you're not. Get the grace. And that fucker looking at me like he's Mr. Krabs from frickin' uh, Spongebob up in here. Alright. Alright, now... Need to aim for that area there. I do love the idea of markers as well. I also love the fact that they debuted a map system and a compass in Elden Ring. I, I really do. I wonder what um, inspired Miyazaki to finally add a map and a compass to uh, Souls games. I'm, I'm kind of wondering why he chose Elden Ring to do it. I mean, I do know that Elden Ring is, you know, his version of a, uh, room bear, um, um, of an open world game. Like, I, I already know that, but, uh, a map would have been amazing in, uh, at least Dark Souls 3. That would have been so freaking cool. But, you know, to each their own. But I do, I'm like, wonder to myself, you know, how Dark Souls 1 or even 3 would have been if they had a map system. Like, that would just be just plain freaking cool. Okay, so there's a dragon that is here. Um, I want to get rid of that. I'm going to put a marker here, but first, there's something this, guard, this dragon is guarding and he needs to get, and I need to get it. I will re-chat in just a minute. I need to get something this dragon is guarding. You don't see nothing, bruh. You're good, man. You're dandy. Okay, I do need to go this way real quick. And then we'll go that other way. I need to unlock... Um, EG. Because he has... Um... 
what is it, um, somber smithing stones, which I will need for Jar Sama's build. I just need to go this way in particular first. More flowers. Because you know my little sub goal is trying to get flowers. My main goal with Jar Sama right now is getting as many graces as possible and unlocking as many locations as possible without fighting a single boss. And funny enough, you can do a lot of that. All right, while well, nothing's attacking me, look at Chad here. He, he probably got tired of people bitching about it. He probably did. But I, I think also probably he was thinking about like the, the right game to really introduce that with, if that makes any sense. There's a grace over here, and I'm trying to find it. There it is. It blends in so good with the ground. Okay. So let's go activate EG. Let's pick up this map. Let's gonna pick up that flower. Not yet, because I know that'll activate Molina if I do that. I don't want to go to the uh, round table hold yet. All right. I'm not even going to worry about my souls. Don't need those. What I need to do is follow my marker. There's also a grace around here somewhere. And I might need to get. I mean, I don't really need it though, but I wouldn't mind it. But honestly, I could probably just go completely forward. It won't be a big deal. Hey, for, come on, come on, game! Stop getting stuck on trees. There we go. Yeah, I love it. Alright, we are going to get this grace that's here, though. Just in case something happens. Hey, Becker, how you doing, man? Play Heroes 3 for like two hours without knowing. So I really need to go get some sleep. I wanted to stop in and say hi. Well, thank you very much, man. Hopefully when uh, school stops kicking your ass, you'll be able to pop in more often and we can talk more soul stuff like we used to. Because as you are a main mod, I do miss you being here a lot, but I know that school is a drag. I know that very well because I have been to college, so I know how that feels. You falling into a kind of routine? Same. I get you. All right, so let's get this right here. We're going to activate the grace that is here. Get back on the horse.
and also shadow i'm going to show you where you can um easily get to um ray lucaria as long as you have the glenstone key but from that uh grace that i just got if you go back and you look for some ground that's lifted up, it'll take you somewhere nice, which is right here. Go past this night, taking a stroll. Uh, yeah, anglers and 76 are considered cryptids. Well, kind of. You're like a sub cryptid. But yes. There's a merchant right there. And here is the Bellum Church. So this should look familiar to you, Shadow. Bellum Church. Get back on the horse. Follow this path. Go past the giant uh, ruins that's destroyed right here. Just go around it either. I would usually go on the left side. So the guy on the horse doesn't get you. And before going through the gate, pick up the grace that's here. through and there we go this killed two they nearly killed me they were nearly 10 levels higher yeah they um they like they like to spit fire all right before we get that grace go this way because there's a little sapling here and i want that golden seed we're not going to sit yet though Even though, honestly, I could if I wanted to. Mm, do I want to yet? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, I guess I'll sit at this one and I'll activate the uh, round table. Why not? Why not? Let me see if she'll actually be sitting here, though. Yep. Okay. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. Mm. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing. I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole. Plus, I swear you're addicted to Heroes 3, man. Champions. Guided by grace. Very yes. well. Let my hand rest. Send Giga Chad to the round table hold. We're going to send this Sigma male to the freaking round table hold. But yeah, if you think I'm done yet with getting him prepared, nah. Far from it. We still got a little bit more things to do. Activate all that. Keep activating. Alright, load the flasks. Let me see. Uh... I guess I could do two blue for the special ability. Why not? Oh, I can't do very well. It is. Yeah. Yep. Just wanted to take care of him real quick. Um, okay. Round table hold. All right. Let's see. Do I want? Which one do I want to do next?
Okay. I know what I'm going to do. So we are going to go to... Oh, I never activated that, Grace. Eh, okay. Then I got to go activate it. Um, I never activated the Grace. That was right by uh, Lottie. I need to go activate that. Luckily, it's not that far. I do always love the fact that uh, new people that play Elden Ring, they treat it like it's freaking Dark Souls, and they just go straight for that damn tree sentinel right there. Yeah, like that's really smart to do. All right, activate that grace. All right, what we're gonna do next? We're going to go to Sa we're gonna go to uh, Salid. Why? Why not? I do what I want. Also, I need to activate something. Let me sit beside this dog here. Um, I know it's a turtle. Don't, don't mess with you, boy. It is a dog. I don't know what you're talking about. That is a dog. I'm going to use my wolves here to handle these rats. Now I'm just going to roll around while my wolves take care of these rats. I'll take care of a couple too. I take care of these rats so nothing tries to get me when I open this little gate door right here. Oh, I got a rune arc from him. Very cool. Uh, it's too, it's too freaking good. I zoned in so hard. I did the entire campaign mission without wanting to. When I win, and it, nice. Gotta love it. Oh no, snare trap. Eh. Okay, I need, I need to go here. All right. So welcome to Salid. This is one of the two couple ways that you can get into Salid early. I'll show you the other one as well, but in due time. So if I can do this right, this should be nice and smooth. All right, so this is how I deal with this... Um, area here. Ow. Usually I never get hit by that. That's okay. Run. Now we run. Right. All right, Becker. Hope I see you again soon, man. Don't forget to stay in, un, in touch in the Discord. All right. Now to do some parkour. We're going to go do some parkour. Y'all like parkour? I love parkour. All right, so we're going to go do some parkour. Okay, nothing's chasing me, so I don't need the rest of the bot at that grace. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of parkour here to activate some more areas in this game. Golden seed. Oh, 
Don't you dare fall off. Oh my god, really? I didn't expect him to follow me. It's okay, I can do it again. I didn't expect him to follow me. That's okay. I got this. Done this run so many times, I'm not surprised that the game finally decides to punish me for it. That's what I wanted. Because of the fact that he got off uh, um, as a jump behind, I wasn't expecting him to get off the horse like that. Alright. So I need to just activate this one. This is the only one I need to activate. Alright, drop down. Horse. Alright. There. 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 Because that's what I was trying to do right there. Oh yeah, let me get rid of that uh, marker that I have over here. Because I don't need that marker anymore. Okay. Get out of my way. Jeez. Alright, All right, watch out for the mimic ball. As long as you keep it in your sights, but you just curve it, you'll be able to get through them. It's perfectly fine. It's all good. Alrighty. Next. There's Millicent. We don't need to talk to her right now. Get on your horse, dumbass. Thank you. Jeez. When I tell you to get on your horse, I mean get on your horse. All right. All right, so let's see now. Need to do the drop on the left side. We need to head toward the unpassable bridge. And if I can, get the map on the way there. If I can do that, we will be dandy. We'll pass this guy here. Drop carefully down here. A little bit of platform in there. Watch out because he'll try and throw a giant jar pot at you. There's also an unmarked merchant right here. We're not going to talk to him just yet. What I want is this map. And we're going to go down here. We're going to get ourselves another golden seed. Now, if you want to get a couple um, hundred um, runes, um, it's very simple. Just go through these uh, two dogs right here. Aim toward the tower in front of you. Because he activated his horn, that's going to bring all the dogs that were chasing me toward uh, that particular location. Go over here, activate the grace. And as you can see, they're fighting each other. So you could just literally stand here and you'll get tons of uh, runes for it. And I'm going to show you that literally right here. So in, so in case you guys doubt me. You know, we're just going to watch them fight it over. It's a very nice way. As you can see, we already got about 200 right there. But, uh, 
just so you think I'm not slacking or whatever, I'll be right back. Uh, thank you for letting me know that you're going somewhere, Rumble. I'll see you in a little bit then. But yeah, as you can see, we're we're getting some pretty good runes here. If I wanted to, I could put a level through right here, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just showing you that you can get a good amount of runes from just watching these things fight. Yeah, just looking at chat and stuff while uh, they're fighting. Basically, just sit right here and watch those... Um, health bars go down and when you stop seeing health bars go down completely that's when you can leave that's literally all you got to do and then next I'll show you um, the second way to get the salient also I guess while we sit here and wait I'll put this here for later we're just going to watch these guys get um, eaten and shit. Yeah, we're already at like 2,300 runes, man. That's that's pretty good. You can do a lot with 2,300 runes. But we're not even at the max yet. Like, this was actually a spot that I went to around, I think it was like my second or third playthrough, that um, I grinded a couple of my first levels just by simply um, doing this here. look at all those runes man in terms of like a um just a starting build and stuff that's some pretty that's a pretty decent amount of runes to start off Yeah, just wait until all of the health bars aren't being shown anymore. And then that'll be your cue to get out. Alright, let's see if any more activate. Nope, that is all of them. Alright. Alright. So now we're going to go activate the other part of Salid, which is over here at the Third Church of America. Because this place is um, a little bit hidden here. But uh, it's another way that you can get to Salid. So we're going to jump right there gonna go into the water but we're going to go straight for uh, the grassiness oh wait it's on the other side yeah watch out for those damn dragonflies I hate them yeah right over here I went too high so right over here will be a very secretly placed portal Travel to the location. Don't mess with him. We're going to open this up. Get the grace, of course. another golden seed that we can get over here he shouldn't aggro but sometimes he does aggro okay he didn't aggro cool that makes things easier for me 
All right, here is the golden seed for that. Now keep in mind I'm not getting any um, upgrade items yet. I'll probably get those when I get all of my gear from Shadow. Because that's just usually how it goes. We're going to try to get past this dragon. The reason why I say try is um, this guy in particular frustrates me a lot. Um, because we're on a narrow bridge and he shoots fire out of his mouth. Oh, actually, I could go this way. Let me go this way first. Should be a twister around here somewhere. Yeah, right over here. I see it. Gotta love it. I'm activating this in case when it's nighttime, if I want to uh, go and kill myself a uh, Knight's Cavalry, I can go do that. Um, I guess I could go this way. This is another way that I can get to a destination I want to go to. I just got to be a little bit careful because of that. The Mimic Balls are going to try and get me. But, hey, it's like pod racing. I used to be very good at that game. Star Wars Pod Racer. Great freaking game. Yeah. And, yeah, you, you get a good little amount of souls from it, too. But, uh, I don't really care too much about souls right now. If I lose them, I lose them. I don't really care. I'm doing this to unlock certain areas and everything like that. We'll do more exploration when I get my gear. And, uh... Oh, no. Go, 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 go. That's a big bear. Well, medium bear, but... Yeah, it's still a room bear, though. Still a room bear. Oh, man. But, yeah, this good part one that I'm doing right now is uh, very useful in terms of uh, me trying to get the supplies that I need for upgrading. Now, the reason why I'm not getting them now is because, well, one, I am an autistic boy. Um, I don't like putting too much stuff on my slate mentally. Um, I like doing things in certain parts, and it helps me um, concentrate. There's Grail right there, a dragon that can't move. It's also kind of considered one of the biggest dragons in Souls games, is this dragon right here in particular. Um, I did find out that if this dragon could walk and move, it would um, slow this area down worse than Blight Town Original Dark Souls 1 from PS3 and Xbox 360. <laughs> and also, if you have a bleed weapon, you can kill him, and you'll get tons of freaking souls. Alright. And just by exploring, we got seven red and two blue, which is very, very good, I must say. All right, let's see. Is there anything else I want to activate before I start Shod the Wall? Let's see. Just doing a mental check. Mm. 
I'm not going to worry about the manor right now. Ah. Actually, let's go uh, talk to Alexander. Because, you know, Jarasama is friends with Alexander in his, you know, uh, lore. Alright, so let's go and help Alexander. We'll also pick up tons of flowers. Also, just to show you as well, item crafting. Because you got the um, crafting kit, it automatically unlocks making your fur call finger remedies. Um, I want to show you also in my inventory. I have, out of this whole time, gotten 63 um, early flowers. Item crafting. There you go. And just out of that whole freaking shebang, um, I now have... Let me see, where's that? I have 31. So that's 31 attempts of me trying to do cooperation if I want to. So to the people that say that activating cooperation is hard in this game, it's not. It really isn't. All right, we're going to activate this grace. Also, there's wolves that can appear here. I just want to check a few little things here and there. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go on forward. And look, more flowers even still too. Damn wolves. They're all loud as fuck. Watch out for that. Oh, wow, really? Okay. He still appears here. That's funny. He still wants to kill me. He's persistent. I'll give him that. Okay, so when he disappears, I will take um, him to Church of L. I will leave him there for um, until next week. And we're going to activate Shod the Wall because that's going to be fun. That's going to be real fun. All right, so let's activate the grace just because. All right, so we'll be doing more of Jarsama next week. He'll have all of his gear and everything like that. But now it's time for part two of this stream, which is going to be some fun shit right there. Um... So, we're going to load in Shod the Wall. Also, um, maybe you guys can give me just a moment here. I just need to see something real quick here. Um, hold on for a minute. All right, I'll be right back. Give me just a minute. Alright, I'm 
back. Sorry about that. All right. So this is uh, this is Shod the Wall. Um, I will show off his face to you and everything like that. That's Shod the Wall. He's modeled after my little brother. God rest his soul. Um, he is going to be technically a meme build, if you want to call it that. He is a wall. And that's all I'm really going to say about it. <laughs> We're going to see if it's going to work. But uh, let me put his helmet back on here. I'll show you his stats real quick. So that's his stats. He is level 200. Um, that is his max. That's what he's going to be at. He is at 99 Vigor because I wanted a 99 Vigor character. Um, 20 Mind, 36 Endurance, 50 Strength. 9 Dexterity, 7 Intelligence, 8 Faith, and 50 Arcane. He's going to hit like a fucking truck um, when I'm done with him. So, and also, yes, it is exactly the way it looked in the freaking stats. He is a heavy load. He is not going to be rolling whatsoever. Um, he is a tank. That's what he is, and that's what he's going to be. I'm going to go level up his stuff. Your new face, no matter how you... Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, guys. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. There was, there's just been this spider that's been in my room, and uh, I've been trying to get it because I don't, I don't like big spiders. So uh, it finally decided to show its ugly head, and I had to go deal with it. All right, so let's strengthen our weapon here. So, as you can see, it is a blood fingerprint stone shield. We're going to upgrade the hell out of this thing. We need to get more smithing stone twos, which is perfectly fine. Let's see. Yep. There's the wall. All right. I'm activating her as a uh, spirit tuner. And then I'm going to go do my thing. We're gonna go test out some of this build and see how it treats us. Alright, so it's time for us to go and fight our first boss, which is going to be Mogget the Fell. We're going to use a fingerprint stone shield with a blood infusement that has uh, um, shield crash. And I'm going to do it by myself. I real, I, I, I've never done a shield run before. This is going to be fun. This is going to be real fun. So let's see how this goes. Hello, Hat. How are you doing, bro? Hope you're doing all right, man. Been worried about you. Also, because I'll be using a shield... 
if any of my mods are available to do it, anybody that wants to step up to the plate, clip when I kill them with a shield. I'd appreciate that. This is going to be entertaining. See how this goes. Not bad. Come on, do something then. Come on. Ow. That was fucking funny, dude. <laughs> I'm like a fucking football player, and I love it. Oh, my God. I even tried to roll, too. My rolling is terrible in this. But it was effective rolling, though. Very effective. Quite effective, indeed. All right. Let's sit my ass down here. All right. And I did it without healing, too. You there. C come over here, won't you? you you're, you're tarnished. I, it's time you to guard you breach the castle. I really hope one of my mods have, are able to clip that, though. Well, but of course. I open the gate, and then I'm going to kill this dude. Wait for it though, rise. Okay, here we go. Come here, big boy. What's it to you? Stick back. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> That's so fucking funny that I can kill him with a fucking shield, man. That's so funny. <laughs> I gotta see how this goes, man. I, I gotta see this, man. This is funny. This is some funny fucktard shit that I'm doing. Alright. I do wonder how I'll do against a bird. Pull up my shield here. I mean, it's, it's effective. I'm not going to doubt it. It's, it's effective. You know something else I find funny? Right there in front of us, that place right there, that's the tutorial area. That's where we started the game. 
is so weird. It's so weird that that's where we started the freaking game, dude. So freaking weird. Actually, I'm going to rest at this, uh, Grace, so I can get some of my MP back in that. Okay. Alright, keep the shield up. Come at me, bro. This is seriously some funny shit, man. I'm I'm sorry. I'm walking around with a fucking shield and I'm I'm killing stuff. Now I do know that it might also be because of my level, but I also have upgraded this shield. So for science. Gotta love science. Alright, let me see how this works with you. Yeah, fuck off, dude. All right. Keep the shield up, because that's how things go. I know, right? Full freaking circle, dude. Um, can you guys, like, you know, get rid of the barrels? That, that would be nice. Thank you. Thank you. Watching this fire here. Oh, just wait until he gets all of his talisman slots, though, man. It's gonna be on. Let's see. I think now I will give him... Don't want to give him the shard, or do I want to give him the Lord of Blood Exultion? Mm. Let's do the shard. All right. Bitch, bro. Fuck off. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, the best test though is gonna be this night right here. Though. Come on. Got him. Highly effective. Plus, the reason why I wanted to name this build after my little brother is because when we used to play video games together, one of his uh, most notable lines he would always preach to me about is, One day, you'll understand that the best defense can also be the best offense. And I always said, no, because if all you do is defend, defend you're not going to get anywhere. But uh, in this particular case, this kind of this kind of fits him completely. Plus, the reason for the bull goat armor is because, you know, also has the best defenses in the game and has some of the best um, uh, poise. But also at the same time, hold on for a minute. Do my check. Um, my little brother was also as stubborn as a bull, so that's another reason why. And I don't mind sharing one of his names he went by, which was uh, Shod. So that's why he's called Shod the Wall. Because also, when I uh, when I was making this build, I was like, you know, he's going to be wearing some of the best defensive stuff in the game. Um, he's also going to be using a shield that is a, basically a giant piece of stone. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to call him the wall. But then I was like, eh, you know, I want to name it after my little brother, Shod the Wall. So that that's, that's why I'm calling him that. But... 
the um, the wall um, is a mean build on Elden Ring, but I'm altering it to work more with being realistic, I guess you could say. Um, the original wall build, you have two um, stone shields, and you're completely overloaded, and all you do is just walk like this. Like, that's literally all that you do. And you basically just attack uh, regularly with, like, the shield like that instead of, like, a shield crash. But I felt like, you know, that, that just would have been kind of stupid. And plus, realistically, it wouldn't have been very useful if I did that. shit boy name idea for the new wall bill or Hodor that that's a good name too that's a good name as well all right come on come on you damn bird I gotta get out of the way Shield crash though. See, I could have done shield bash, but I like shield crash though. I think shield crash is uh, is more effective in my opinion because you're you're actually able to move while shield bash is basically like this, but a little bit more faster. I wanted more like mobility. So I decided to use Shield Crash instead of Shield Bash. Oh, I know. The only thing about uh, Game of Thrones, though, is do not remind me of the last season. Because the last season, I couldn't finish it because of how bad it was, in my opinion. But I love the original casting for the other um, past seasons of it, though. Yeah, sure. I'll take all your stuff. I have the stuff for it. Alright. Now, usually I skip these two that are over here. But I am a wall. And I'm not going to tolerate that shit. Oh, I got the torch pole. I have thought about making a build with the torch pole. I might consider that. Damn, I just did though. Oh, you're fine, man. You're fine. You're fine. All right, let's do this. Let's go, Shad. Ah, that's so fun to use, man. It's so fun to use. Ah, right, let's take care of this knight. Come at me, bro. Ha <laughs> I interrupted you. I love how I interrupted his Ash of War. That's so good. And ju just wait till I get my uh, Wanderous Physic Crystal Tears too. It's gonna be, mm, it's gonna be on, dude. It's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. I tell you. I can't help it, man. This is fucking fun. 
Even though it's a mean build, it's it's pretty damn overpowered right now. And it's mostly because of uh, the infusement that I gave it. Actually, I'm kind of wondering, what is its stats now? Okay, 111 and 88. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, you... Of course, an enemy comes out of nowhere. Fuck off. I got a regular spear. Okay. Like, even though he is way freaking over-leveled, the only reason why I make builds like this is, you know, one, science, because science is very important. Um, and two, it's so when I die, I don't really have to worry about souls or anything of that matter. That was another way to go, yeah. Ooh. Like, you know, I can just have fun and not worry about dying yeah i may lose all the souls i have right now but i'm fully leveled up you know i i really don't i really don't need it uh, let's not act that yet. let's give myself a heal and we'll heal that too. hell yeah dude had enough sacred tears to fill up my damn mp Fuck yeah. There's God there's Godfrey's little picture there. Ah, uh, we'll get that item, why not? Let's go, Shad, let's go. Like a bowler. Plus, depending on how this build goes, I want to try and uh, do more builds with the uh, with uh, the fingerprint stone shield. Cause I want to because it's considered one of the best shields in the game. Even though the shield got nerfed real good in one of the recent patches. But it's still a strong damn shield. You know, I'm... I dig it. I really do. I dig it. Shit. Eh, why not? We're arrested. This one. We're gonna go straight for, um... Godric. Well, actually, no. I need to get the golden seed that's here. I might go against the worm too. See how that goes. Cause I do need to get more golden seeds for him. Alright. Here we go. Never thought I'd do a shield run of a game, dude. This is hilarious shit. Alright. So we activated that. I need to go get the golden seed from over here. Actually, first I want to try something. Just testing out the shield. Oh, 
Okay, so I may just have to bash him a little bit. Okay, you can quit moving now, you big fucking asshole. Damn it, will you quit moving? Alright. That's not, that's not a bad move right there. There we go. Didn't drop anything. It's okay, I didn't expect him to. There we go, though. We kicked his arse. Golden Seed. I believe Nefeli is in here. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna go fight a worm and then we'll go for Godric. Because if I kill the putrid worm, it will give me a golden seed when I kill it. Golden seeds will get um, added, um, you know, stacked up and everything will uh, give me um, um, more stuff to go toward my flask of healing. It's sitting there so I don't have to waste any more of my MP. Okay, so now we're going to try and do some platforming while I'm a heavy fat dude. This is going to be interesting. I've never tried to do this while being overweight. See if I can do it. Let's see. Ah! Okay. Gotta aim that a little better. Because usually I'm, uh medium roll, but I'm um, heavy roll, so. Oh, come on! Turn the fucking corner, dude. Because I need my character to turn the corner sharply so I can do that jump. I think that's really the only hard jump I have to do. I believe. Alright. There we go. There's the jump I was trying to do. Yeah, boy. All right, Shadow. Sleep well. Thank you for coming. Hopefully Rumble's back. All right. Yeah, why not? It's there. Here, there, and everywhere. Hmm, smithing stone one. Nice. I need to try and get some smithing stone twos. guys don't need anybody following me around Smithing Stone 3. I will need that. Yeah. Okay. So. Just looking around real quick. Okay. Alright. Drop. And drop. Drop. Run, drop. There we go. Alright. 
had to be a little careful with that one. All right. Hmm, nice painting. All right, so rainbow stones. Let's get this shortcut here just in case something happens. Um, oh, yeah, let me see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. Platforming, my bruh. Come on, bat boy. Come on. Really? bit difficult. Ah, got it. Another smithing stone twos. I do need those. Get away from me. Uh, okay. Alright. Keeping my shield up though. Come on. back we go that bleed though and it's not even at its max bleed yet that's going to be crazy when I get it up higher. But yeah, they had to give this shield a nerf. Because it was very overpowered. Alright, so. Here's where Wormy's going to be. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Come on, do your attack. There you go, good job. Nice. Stamina back. Stamina back. Damn, I blocked that shit too, man. Come on. Get the stamina back. He's almost dead. I'm trying to watch my stamina bar too. Oh my god, really, game? Got him. Wormy be dead. Nice. That was literally very cool. See, there's one build that I've had I've wanted to do. Um But like I said, depending on how things go with my science with the um with the fingerprint stone shield will depend on if I make that build. Which I'm probably going to make the build that I have in mind. But I want to see how things go with just the shield. Because I really want to see if this will work.
What a thrill. All right. I hope your week is going um, at least well so far, um, Hatter. I've missed you, bro. I've been really worried about you. Plus, I know you're not allowed to really talk about what's going on with you, but I am happy that you're at least okay. Uh, let's see. Seclusive cell. Go to seclusive cell. Now, we're going to go and fight the boss. We're going to see how this goes. Look at that. Even more flasks for my health. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, let's give myself three and see how that goes. Because I know I'll get tons of them for my health, but I want to see how this will go. Right, let's do it. I get you. Well, I get you completely, bro. I really do. Lowly tarnished. Lowly tarnished. Yes, I am. I command thee. I kneel for no one. I kneel for no man. All right, let's see how this goes. Get the shield up. Not bad. Nice, that's a cool flip. for it now. Gotta watch my stamina. Nice flip. Right, let's see how this goes. Okay. Ooh, that bleed. I love his flip that he does. I love that. That's the power of poise in this fucking shield, dude. This is hilarious, man. As a build maker, this is hilarious. And... Nice one. Nice bleed rock. I'll watch this cutscene. Grafting himself with a dragon. I'd rather not, to be completely honest. Dude, this defense is so good. Come on. Power through it. 
Power through it. Nice flip. This is so cool. Oh, he grabbed me. It's okay. I got this. Come on. Oh, you're gonna grab me again. It's okay. Trying to aim a certain attack. There we go, that's the attack I wanted to do. Game. If someone can try and clip that, I'd appreciate it. If you can't, it's perfectly fine. If you can't, it'd be nice something to have something to remember. Dodging's great, Rude. That was fun. That was fun. Dead serious, dude. That was that was that was fun. Jeez. All right, so let's go this way. Look, there's, there's what's left of Godric's head. This is a fun build, though. This is fun. But yeah, I can see some science needing to be done here. Not with this build, but for other build ideas that I could see myself doing with uh, the fingerprint stone shield. I, I, I could see some good shit happening here. Roll like a boulder. Here we go. Give me that Shabriri grape. All right. Now we did that. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm. Is it left side chamber? Need to go uh, activate his great rune. Yep. This is the exact area I needed to go. All right. Let's go activate uh, Godric's Great Rune. Hey, right, let me see if he, if this uh, omen can destroy this for me. Ah, uh, you killed your own dog. There we go. Thank you, got it. Let me see. Nope, he didn't destroy it yet. I need him to destroy this. Come on, destroy it. Destroy it. Because he's supposed to destroy this statue. Dude, I could do this all fucking day, dude. Come on. Why are you not destroying the statue? Because you're the one that's supposed to destroy it. Come on. How is he not destroying the statue? Come on. Why are you targeting that dude? Jeez. I'm surprised that he has not been able to destroy the statue. Come on. Come on. 
Oh my god. Can you destroy this fucking statue, please? Because you're the only one that can. I'm trying to see why the game isn't letting him destroy the statue. Then have my shield up. Come on, Omen. No, you're not going to do that. Is he supposed to rush at me? No, that didn't work. If he's supposed to... Um, what? I hate when the game does that shit. Come on. Why are you not destroying the statue? Whatever. Fucking game. Because he's the only one that can destroy that statue. Because that statue had some, uh... Uh, what is it? Uh, some smithing stones. But, oh well. Oh well. I want to test this out here. Wow, it's going to get me from behind instead of in front. Okay, game, come on. Wow. Seriously? Fucking game. Get up the fucking thing! Oh my lord. I still can't believe that uh, he couldn't destroy the fucking statue. That's bullshit. Okay. I just gotta figure out how he does it later. Alright. Bolt Drake Talisman. Oh yeah, let me see if I can take this guy out. Pull up my shield. And he blocked it. Good block. Okay. That's understandable to knock me down. Seriously. You're not supposed to rise right now, dude. Hey, you killed your own friend. You killed your friend. Hey guys, Albert. Cool. 
It's another weapon I can add to my collection later. Come at me, bro. Yeah, the power of the wall, dude. Do it again. Hit me harder, bitch. Hit me harder, yeah. You do some testing. Let's see how much damage this does to me when he hits me with this arrow. <laughs> Eat shit, homeboy. Now, these guys are actually a little weaker than their halberd calendar part. So this won't take too long. A lot of damage, though. See, he did. Great arrows. Cool. All right. Get it. Got to make some food. I'll still be lurking. All right now. I want to check and see if there's anything over here that'll be useful. Hold on. I just want to check. Get all these birds. Of course, you'll be here. I just want to see if there's any items around here. I don't think I've ever gone down this bridge, so I always want to see. See if there's any items around here. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Yep. Alright. Cool. Got everything that's here. So now I know. Alrighty. Let's go activate this great rune. Probably go straight for Renala next. Excuse me, Eagles. You're not a threat to me, so I'm not going to attack you. Okay. Let's go, Shad. Let's get this.
Yes, sir. All right. Now let me take myself here. All right. All right. So. Allow me a word of you. The house can then be. Okay. Are you your friend? Let them great anchor until it is ready across the fire. Please give me what I want. I'll get another dragon head. Okay. I know that I'll end up getting my my uh, third talisman slot by activating Lindell. I believe I can also get it from. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, Radon. Which, oh my god, I see that being an interesting fight. I spoke with them. She has it, so I told them. We're dead. It was a work. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I need more Smithing Stone 2s. Man, look at that though, that fucking bleed build up. <clears throat> it's looking beautiful, dude. Just beautiful. Alright. I think if I do this, he'll go into his office. Back in his office. Office Reno. Alright. Just buying stuff. One day I have thought about making a night. Like just a, a regular type of night, but I'm not sure how I'd take that build. Like, I have even thought about trying to do a starter gear challenge. Well, I, I don't know how I'd do that, though. I don't know how I'd do it. Because, to be completely honest, I don't really like much of the starter gear in the game. Weapons, though, sure. But, in terms of gear itself, eh. go straight for Renala. So, let me see. I'm thinking. Yeah, main academy gate. Let's go. Alright. Two hands, my shield. Let's go. I forgot to equip my great rune, but it's okay. I can equip it later. All right, let's go. 
Let's do this. Let's go, wall. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I got to see how this goes with these uh, spammers here. Are you going to try and hurt me with knowledge? Okay. Alright, so I need to go straight for the grace that's on the left side here. Alright, I hit it just in time. Bring up your shield. that dog behind me. Wee woo. Alright. We're doing good though. We're doing good. Ugh. I know my roll wouldn't have um, propelled me forward so I had to do a running jump there. Alright. So let's see. I gotta deal with the Red Wolf of Radagon. Shouldn't be too hard, but the main issue I'm going to have is the fact that it jumps around so much. That's my only issue I think I'm gonna have with it. Right. Mm. All right, here we go. Trying to get my stamina back up. beans got him all right the power of a slab of stone mm. 
All right. Let's go get the... Gold seed that's over here. I, I can't wait to fight that freaking uh, carrion knight. So that's my new point. Ha! It propelled me forward. That's funny. That's actually hilarious. All right. Elden Ring's version of Hogwarts, man. I love it. Cannot wait to fight you. Yeah, let's go, big boy. Taking that madness damage too, because he's he's human. Aw, you out of hell. Hurts, doesn't it? All right. All right. Let's see how this goes. Thank you, Rumble. Also, uh, Rumble, I might have to ask if after the stream, if you can find my fight of um, Godric, if you could clip that for me. Because that was, I think, around the time that Shadow went to bed. Or whatever. So I'm going to need you to do that if you can. Alright. So let's deal with Renala. Her phase 1 is not going to be hard. Her phase 2, however, is going to be the big test on the wall here. we, we got to see how this goes. Alright, come on down, baby. Back up. I said it might be a, well, actually no, um, it might have been after, I don't remember. Alright, here we go, I gotta see how this goes here. Ha, ah, knocked you off your freaking ground.
Haha, -ha, got her before she could try and uh, summon. Got it. Can you get that for me, Rumble, please? Thank you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. We got that shit. I stunned her so many times that she was unable to summon her little summons and shit. That was that was very good. Now, I'm sorry, dude. That was very good. All right, so we did that. The ravine. Just in case it tries to pull that shit on me like a long time ago. I want to be careful about this. Okay. Alright, now we can go fight this boss. Are you a bull? You are a bull. Okay. Let me get some drink in my system. Let's see how the wall does against the giant dragon. All right, let's do it. Why is it the machine? Five, four, two, fifteen. Wow, what a knockdown! Okay. Damn it, quit moving, you stupid lizard. There we go, getting him right in his weak point. Basically, worms slash dragons, their weak point is their head. Okay, get out of the lava, please. Thank you. Come on. Back up. Nice one. I can tell it doesn't bleed. Got him. Oh man. Alright. I'll leave it up to you if you want to get that one. Uh, this is a really good build though. This is a very, very good build. Alright. I'm trying to think now. Um, okay. 
I do know that I am going to have to find some materials so I can upgrade my weapon some more. I need to get more smithing stone twos and get some threes and all that shit. I have a couple ideas. But we'll see what happens. Alright. Let's go, Wall. Let's go. He's doing very good, though. I'm very surprised that this build's working out so far. My main thing I'm going to be curious about is how he goes against uh, Malekith. Because Malekith is going to be uh, a bit difficult. Alright, let's run. Runny, 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 runny. Fake dragon coming on down. Okay. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna rest here. Just looking at my time. All right. So there is a couple things I can do around here. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take myself to the next grace I have to get to. And then I'll start looking around um, certain other areas. Because here at... Uh, Altus Plateau, and even around uh, Lindell is where I'm going to be needing to focus on upgrading some more. Come on. Because if I don't, I won't really get that far. Because even though I'm fully leveled up, that doesn't mean a damn thing. It matters on my weapon, too. So let's see. Yeah, I need to go over here. Get this seed right here. I believe there is a uh, merchant over here. See if he has any upgrade materials. I know a couple places I can go to get um, certain upgrade materials, so I'm not too concerned. But I do need to be concerned, if that makes any sense. I need to make sure my bases are filled before I get into more danger. I am here as a customer. Okay, so I will take those stone sword keys. Everything else is not really important, though. Let me read up about that. High damage negation, guard capacity, making enemy attacks easy to propel. Shield bash. Okay. 
afraid of. I just wanted to read that. Okay. Let's do that. Activate that. Yeah, cautious. That's that's right. Yeah. Because basically, it's kind of like, you know, having all the defense in the world, but not being able to do anything with it. That's the best way that I can really describe it. But I do like the fact that even though this thing has been nerfed, it's still pretty strong. But it's mostly, I believe, because of the infusement that I gave it. I gave it a bleed infusement. And plus, combined with 50 arcane, it's been doing pretty damn good. Which I'm very surprised about. And even though I'm at, like, level 200, damn it, I really hate when they do that. Even though I'm at level 200, I'm not really concerned about, like, multiplayer or anything like that. But at the same time, what matters the most to me is affectability. Plus, from the knowledge I've gotten from Shadow in terms of the Colosseums, there's not fully a limit to what level you have to be in terms of PvP, which is very nice. However, at the same time, it will be important. Like, in terms of the base game, I'd have to say, in terms of, like, late game, still being max 150 is really, is uh, very useful. I'm a, I will test 200 later on down the road, though. But, it'll just take time. Okay, so, let me see here, so there's, that's an Everjail, I need to get the map fragment for this area. So let me see here, I think what I'm going to do, let me go to the highway junction, I'm going to get the golden seeds that are in... Um, Altus Plateau leading to um, Lindell. Because the more heals I have, the better. Because I'm a fucking tank, man. I need to. I need to make sure certain things work. I also have to check to see if I can actually get my uh, my third talisman slot, or if I have to literally be inside of uh, Lindell to get it. Because, like I said, depending on how this goes with the fingerprint stone shield, I have other ideas for builds with it. But I won't do the builds with him, but I am going to keep uh, the wall though. Because it'd be a sin if I didn't keep the wall. Alright. Level up that flask. So I have three for that, 
eight for that, which is still not bad at all, to be honest. Okay, up there is going to be another flask, or another, not flask, another uh, seed. I'm going to get that. And then I'm going to go to the round table hold and uh, see what's going to happen there. Man, fuck that gargoyle. Alright. These. Okay, so. I have that grace already. So let me take myself to round table hole. New items can be purchased. Hell yeah. Okay, will you give me my thing? Got it, nice. Now become nice. That's awesome. Cool. Portal Blood's Exulsion. That'll put up the bleed power right there. Oh, there's the dumb eater. Alright. Now, wet blade. Okay. I feel like taking a little trip to Salid and going to the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Because there's going to be some upgrade materials that I need in there. However, I need to be careful of the, uh, of, uh, The, the, I call them the prawns of rot, but I know they're not prawns. But you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hate you bastards. That's why you're dead. Okay, smithing stone five. I needed that. More five. Oh yeah, I gotta kill this bastard now. Ha ha ha! Eat shit, you bastard. Fucking punk ass bitch. Yeah, and I can kill those bastards. Alright, so let me see now. Need to get the stuff that's over here. I see him over there. Yeah, now I can block your shit, bitch. Rumble, I don't know if you can see it, man, but 
that is the most satisfying shit ever. Just using nothing but a big slab of fucking rock. And just being able to block those fucking darts that they do right there, man. That is so fucking, um... Um... It's so satisfying. Alright. I need to get up there. If I can prepare all of myself right. There we go. Propel. Ah, oh, I could have got that. It's okay. Look at me blocking that shit. I do need those uh, smithing stone fives, though. I am going to need those. double check and see if there's anything behind here. Okay. I am going to have to do a little bit of backtracking, but it's not going to be too bad. Come on. See, you just had to start shit, man. You, you you just had to start some shit right there. Now I got your number. Now I know how to take care of you bastards. And that's why you're dead. That's why you're dead. Alright. Knock this down. I don't even need to freaking bash you. All I need to do is just crash you. I will do this for these guys, though, because these guys are freaking scum. Come here, you scum. Mmm, that bleed. Mmm. That bleed is so good, dog. The faithful canvas talisman that upgrades the power of uh, certain skills. All right. I guess we can see what this boss is. I don't remember what it is. I think it's a stone grit, stone digger troll. Nope, it's a falling star beast. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I have actually never fought in any of these guys successfully. So this will be interesting to try. Oh. 
All right, get up. I won't. Heal. I love the flip that he does, man. Okay, that's because I didn't have my shield up. Nice grab, homeboy. Okay. All right. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Okay. Damn it. Take my time. It's okay. I gotta stay on him. Come on, you almost got him. Good flip. Oh. Lucky. It's almost dead. Come on. Come on. You got this. Come on. There you go. Bash him. Oh, of course you. Quit running. Do not deny your fate. With denying your fate. He just does not want to die. There we go. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. Because I also needed those fucking uh, stones, too, man. Whew. Fuck yeah. That was, a, that was a little bit of a bitch right there. That was a bitch and a half right there. He kept staggering my ass. <laughs> oh, man, man. All right. So I got the stuff I needed from there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yes, I need to climb that giant skull that's over here. I know, right? Ole! Indeed. Indeed. Alright, over here should be a giant titan skull right here. And right beside it should be a jump twister. Because now I just need to get some more materials. But that was a place I needed to get some materials from. Whee! Nice. Seven... Long sword key, smithing eight, smithing seven, nice. Okay. What I need to do is I need to get there. So let me see. 
Sure, that's a good idea. Plus I can take care of an invader at the same time. All right, so let me point myself in the right direction here. Okay. Let's go. Excuse me, wolfies. Alright, so... Let's get my punk ass through here. Alexander. Are you over here, Alexander? somewhere else. Oh, he got himself out. Gotta love it. I do need to worry about trying to get Alexander when it comes to Jar Sama, though. But we're good. Okay. And look, there's your pumpkin head. Alright. I believe there's a statue over here. No. no. That's another pumpkin head place. Smithing Stone 1. Okay. I don't really need Smithing Stone 1. I mostly need Smithing Stone 2. Oh, Smithing Stone 1. I'll still take it, though. Bandit Mask. Eh, why not? Oh, I'm afraid of you. You're good, man. You're good. Don't apologize. You have what you have. Get those flowers just in case. Get this. We should be coming up to a church very soon. Also, I need to get a talisman from here. There is a talisman here I would like to get. So there's going to be some um, situations where I'm going to switch between two different talismans. One of them being the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, which ups my defense exponentially. And then there will be the uh, Turtle Talisman. Which will help out with some of my stamina recovery. And the talisman will be right here. The turtle one that I need. It's a dog. Alright. I also love the fact that when you're getting the, tur the uh, turtle talisman. All these boys are here. Friggin' hilarious. Okay. Green Turtle Talisman. That helps out with stamina regen. I will definitely need that for uh, my shield. It'll be very useful. Alright. But, of course, one thing at a time. Alright, so I need to go this way. More flowers. And a skull. Another skull. 
there's the church which I will end up getting invaded over here but I should be fine she shouldn't be too much of an issue I'm not really concerned about it all right bish come on now time to fight the wall Catch you later, bitch. Let's move it in, church. I love it. All right. So we got her. Next place I need to get to is going to be close to Radon's Tower. I want that. Just so need to figure out the right way to get there. Because Radon's Tower is right there. I need to figure out the logical way to get there without being in too much danger. I think I got a plan. There should be a jump spot around here somewhere. And that jump spot will take me to where I need to go. Watch out for these dogs here. They're going to try to chase me. If I'm strategic, I should be fine. I want this grace. That's the way I need to go. Jump off point should be right over here. Yep, right over here. There'll be a grace over here because this is a completely different area. But oosh. It still absolutely surprises me that I still know where to go in this fucking game. It's fucking hilarious. I had doubts my first time. Like my first playthrough of this that I was going to like never be able to memorize everything. But, no. I know what I'm doing. There you go over here, boy. Should get it. Yep, that's a somber stone. Not that I really need the somber stone. I just wanted to get it because it was there. All right, let's see. So I want this map fragment. I need to get to the bottom of Radon's Tower. That's the sound of a very grumpy dragon. Okay, I want these items here. Yeah, I swear to God, man, this game sets you up to do a somber playthrough with a somber weapon. Like, it's hilarious, man.
And I mean, I've done a couple somber playthroughs. It is a very interesting way uh, looking at the game. I need to get to this uh, cabin up here. Right. Just checking the time right there. Yeah, these dogs are going to try to eat me. Sit, sit, sit. Good job. Okay. Well, he's been in how kind. Yeah, I'll take your lost ashes of war. Yep, yep. All right, so I got that. I need to go into a couple mines. Question is, which mines do I want to go for? Hmm. Which mines do I want to go for? Let's look at Lindell here. Um, yeah, I could probably go in there. That would give me some interesting stuff. Let's go that way. Let me see. I do definitely need to go this way. Alright, let me see if I can find the jump point here. Ah, here it is. Right over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, if you were doing the quest line for the uh, Dung Eater. You would come over here, and you would literally get invaded by the Dung Eater. I want to climb this just so I can uh, get rid of that. Maybe it worked, I don't know. Nope, didn't work. I'll just get rid of it. Okay, so there is going to be some stones in here I need to get my hands on. Yeah, there's going to be a smithing stone thing here. Uh, the thing is, I don't think it's a somber bell bearing, so that means I will be able to use it. Oh, oh man. Alright, let's see what kind of bell bearing you are. Okay, you're a regular smithing bell bearing. Okay, so I do need you. Okay. Alright, let's see what kinds of smithing stones are down here. me sir smithing stone fives okay I can deal with that sure okay so let's see what's up here real quick Five. 
This is where the grace is, right? Yes. Okay. I need to continue through here and see what else is here. If there's anything that's free, I can definitely go for it. Okay, I think this is the way I gotta go. No. Uh, it's one of these. Of course, it's on the other side. Might be on the other side. Is it you? It's you. Okay. I had to remember which one it was. Alright, before I go down, checking to see if there's any drop off points here that are hiding anything. That's a long way down. Okay, just take the elevator down or up or whatever. Okay. Okay, there's a stone right there. I should be able to get that stone without dying. Let's we'll see how it goes. Yes. Okay. Drop there. Drop here. And then drop here. Season your. All right. Let's bring this back down, just in case. Alright. Break this wall. I love it. I believe there is a judicer down there somewhere. Possibly. Maybe. Sure. Just trying to be careful about drops here. Hey. sword key. like the fact that I'm getting a lot of those because I'm going to probably need them. Okay, so there is some stuff I need to do here. Ha ha, cool, I got a lot of their stuff. Okay, so the object of this mini puzzle here is to have the Judicer destroy a statue. Okay, we're in a statue right here. Um, why did my... Why did my shield stop that? Um, game, what are you doing? Ah, the game is fucked with my damn control. Please don't kill me here. I can't fucking move. Okay, get up, please. Oh my god, it's spamming this shit on me. God dang it. This is why I hate these guys. Okay, come on. 
Yeah, pick that up. Oh my god, let me move! Got what I wanted there. Can you climb the... Why won't he climb the ladder? Oh my god, you're gonna kill me. This is seriously what kills me? Yep, that's exactly what fucking kills me. God, I hate these fuckers. I really fucking hate them. I do. And what's bad about them is, you know... Jesus. Alright, so let me take myself back there. Plus, I don't know why the fucking game was not letting me um, climb the fucking ladder. I really hate that shit. One, I want those souls back. And two, I just want to see what's in this dungeon. I think it's a crystalline, I believe. Maybe. I don't fully remember. Alright, where's my souls at? They're right there. Climb the ladder! Oh no. No, don't you fucking dare. Alright. Now that I got what was in that particular statue. Alright, let's try to do some heavy platforming. Alright. You bastards. Get out of my face. Okay. Oh shit. I had to block that. I wasn't gonna make it if I didn't block it. Okay. Ah! Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're, we're dandy. We're dandy, we're good. Alright. Drop to here. Alright, can I make this? Yes, I can. I will take that five. Okay. Jump it. Nice. Yeah, that's an item, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Okay, so how far is this drop? Okay, I'm going to have to drop to this route right here. Oh, fuck off, game. I really hate that shit. Alright, move. Pick up all the shit. Okay. So what do we got going on here? Actually, no, I think this is the Onyx Lord, I believe. Not Crystalline. It's the Onyx Lord, I believe. Which, hey, I'm, I'm down with that disco. What's up, buddy? Oh, Gravitas. Oh, no, that's not Gravitas. Okay. 
Man, that stagger though. Got him. I've thought about trying to make a build with the Onyx Lord Sword, but I just can't seem to get any good parameters for it. Sooner or later, I might do one. I don't know. Maybe try and dual wield it. I don't know. All right, there we go. I might need that later because that, I believe, is Rykard's. Um, yeah, that's Rykard's. All right, so let's see. Let's go back here because I'm. Let me see. I believe the regular smithing stone one is ones and twos. This might give me the stuff I need to upgrade it further. Let's see. Yeah, smithing and the somber one because why not? Yep, threes. Nice. Let's get 20 of those. And let's get 20 of those. Nice. I knew going in there was uh, was going to be some help. Fuck yeah, bro. Alright, let's go. Oh, your divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. Road is yet long, but God is not easily failed. But one day without fail, you will have your wish. So please grant me forgiveness, Queen America. Uh, here is in. I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Got a piece of sleep stuck in my eye here. Did I get it? I did. I get this one. All right, strengthen. Ah, oh, I still need twos. Son of a bitch. Okay, I need more twos. Don't worry, I'll be able to find some. I'm just trying to trying to remember. My god, I just need to get a couple more twos. Alright, let's see. Um I think honestly my best bet would probably be going into that one. No, no, I gave him knowledge. First step. Okay. I think that one is the one that's going to give me a couple twos. It might give me some additional ones, but I'm not concerned. The fact that I got that one uh, somber bell bearing, though. I remember that that one, well, not somber, uh, smithing bell bearing. I knew that uh, it was going to be useful to me. Damn trees. Get out of my way. Also trying to be careful because a dragon can appear here. Don't need that on my conscience right now. Cool. Engraved tunnels. Okay. So this is the one where I don't really need to use the elevator. I can, but I don't really need to. Yeah, I do know that a stone digger troll, I believe, is this boss. I don't mind it. Did that drop there? Drop there. Drop there. Beans. Okay. Let's bring this down though just in case. Activate that. 
All right, so if there's twos in here, I will be saved. Ones. Okay, there should be a couple twos in here, though, at least. They're just hidden good. It's a one. Come on, give me some twos. I know there's some twos in here. Okay, go the other way real quick. Down. Okay. Rats. Damn it. I know there's some fucking twos in here. I'm not losing my damn mind. I know there's some in here. Because I remember getting teeth from this one in particular. Back that down. Okay. Drop to that. Alright, I'm just double checking some stuff here. Excuse me, sir. That's a somber right there. Because sombers are white. Regulars are yellow. That's a somber one. Okay. Right. Trees made two chili max. Hell yeah. I miss a good chili max. Get like some, uh, I like getting like a nice Velveeta mac and cheese or a, um, Cracker Barrel mac and cheese or even a Cabot Sharp Cheddar mac and cheese and mixing in like some Wolf Brand chili. Man, those sold cheap meals of mine, man. I miss those. I'm gonna have to do that sometime. Yeah. That might be something I do this month. All right. That flip, though, man. You know what? I'm just going to fucking... We're just going to smash and stack and bag. Oh, here. There we go. Alright, so it wasn't this one that had it. Okay. Yes. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Man, this is making my head hurt a little bit. Alright, so if that wasn't it. 
Hmm. Unless it's in there. Only one way to find out, though, eh? Let's go find out. Ugh. Oh, man. Alright. Let's go find out if it's in here. Cause I don't mind getting the real the real big smithing stones. I don't mind it. But they're useless to me unless I can actually get the small ones too. Okay, let me through the bridge. There we go. So we'll try this uh, crystal cave here. You see, I knew because of the fact that the fingerprint stone shield is a uh, smithing stone weapon that this was going to be a little bit difficult. To be honest, though, it, it acts more like a freaking somber weapon. But I bet you, though, if it was a somber weapon, that would make it way too freaking easy. Bing ring bell. the elevator. Yes, there are drop-off points, so I'm going to use them. That is blue crystal. I don't need that. More blue crystal. Drop there. Drop there. Drop there. Okay. Bring this down, though, just in case. Yeah, now my head's starting to kind of hurt a little bit. It's called being a mentalist and doing deep thinking. Deep thinking makes my head hurt sometimes. And this is no better. Okay, if I'm getting smithing stone, somber smithing stone twos in here, then I should get regular smithing stone twos. I mean, that's my knowledge at least. I just need twos. Alright, careful here. Yep. Alright. Now I know. Now I just need to get all the smithing stone twos that are here. And then I'll be just fine. Because I'm able to get threes and I'm able to get fours. But that will take me a long way. I just need to get the two. I just need to get enough twos. Could you drop? Oh, okay. What's up, boy? Oh. Hit him. Pick it up. Need the heal there. Alright, what's doing this shit? It's you. I know it's you. No, no, you're not gonna do that. I'm actually getting hungry. 
crank out a digger staff. Very cool. I'm actually getting kind of hungry. Soon I'm going to have to have one of my shakes. Threes. I can buy threes. I want some twos. Give me some twos. I want some twos. Man, my stomach is growling right now. Alright. Drop here. There should be something here. Is that just a shortcut that I got there? Jump it. Jump it. Jump it. Okay. A lot of this is starting to look the same. And I hate that. This is different. Okay. Twos, there we go. Okay. Okay. Cross this bit here. No, you're not. Three. No, you're not. Yay. Twos. Threes. Okay, activate the shortcut here. Because this here indeed is a shortcut. down. Okay. So let's see here. What we got here is some shit here. Oh yeah, don't worry. We are going to kill the boss that's here. Yeah, fuck off. Things are gonna drop behind me, I believe. Oh no, that's a different one when they drop down behind me. At least I'm getting some twos now. There's the one. do know that this boss is a crystalline. I'm not concerned about the crystalline, though. I'm really not. Because I know how to kill it. And with myself having a shield like this, it shouldn't be too hard. Because the crystallines are very aggressive. And as long as I'm able to break its outer shell, the boss will not take that long. All right, listen here, my boy. No. So much of that. Okay, that's a lot of three. Didn't really need that three. I just need two. I'm hoping that I'm getting close to enough two 
to be able to get this past its um, smithing stone two phase. Because I'm able to buy threes and fours. Alright, let's see what's over here real quick. Okay, that I believe is going to lead to the boss. I'll go there in a minute. I want to see what's down this other cave way here. Shatter Earth, okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Let's do this. You see some drop off points here. Nope. Nope. Somber three. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. All right. Bring it down just in case something happens. Alright, so let's deal with this freaking uh, crystalline here. Alright, so stay in the fence position here. Oh wow, I already broke its freaking shell. Oh, that's funny. The smithing stone mine bearing one. So I just got the thing to buy smithing ones and twos. Oh my god, I'm fucking hilarious. Okay, let's go back here and do some upgrading. That was a good fight though. Alright. Let's see if I actually have enough twos before I go buy some. Let's see what I got here. Well, I took you from that match today. Out your own. Alright. Straight. I do. Nice. Upgrade the hell out of this thing. And I got some fives to go with it. Fuck yes, dude. Now I'm at plus 14. <laughs> Let me see its stats real quick. Ooh, 136, 92. Oh my god. That's so good. Right, let me check, see. Okay. Alright, let's try and get ourselves into Lindell. I think we are ready to try and do that. Let's see if we can do it. We're going to try and uh, get through the Dragon Sentinel. See how that goes. Oh, gotta stretch my back there. Let's see. Four forty-nine. Got ten minutes left. I I can do it in ten minutes. First off, I need to get on my horse. But I think when I activate Lindell, of course I probably where I'm going to end, but the next time I do this, I'm going to try and see if I can work on getting the stuff for his flask. I think if I do that, the stagger is going to be interesting there. Hmm. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if we can get through this without a golem shooting me with a freaking arrow. Speak of the devil. Y'all be some bastards.
All right. I wonder if I could sneak up behind him as a heavy boy. Science. All right, first off, get rid of that. All right, let's see if we can sneak behind him. I know I can as a medium roll. Can I do it as a heavy roll? Won't know until we find out. He turned around. That was close, dude. All right, let's see if we can do this. Um, Pull up your shield, pull up your shield. There you go. Oh, okay, good flip. Get your shield back up. I'm also trying to get my endurance good here. The reasons I keep putting my shield down is so I can uh, get my endurance back up. Come on! Crash! Good job. Good job. Oh no. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. You cheating bastard. No, you're not. Stop. Stop it. Block. It's almost dead. Need one more to get off. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. We got that shit, bruh. The power of defense. So. Let's activate that. That was hilarious, though, to be honest with you. The wall. No one on Earth can make him fall. Man, you're such a stomper. <laughs> Shit, boy. All right. All righty. Let me see. Let me see if I can get to one other grace and then I'll end. As I finish that faster than I expected. Let's see what I can do here.
I know I was going to stop when I got into Lindell, but I will stop in a little bit. See if I can parkour as a big boy. Oh, shit! Ow. Spoke too soon. Yeah. Uh. Heal. Alright, let's see if I can do this. That's a, that's a golden firefly. I kind of want to fight him. I don't know if I'd survive it, though. Hmm. My utmost thank for bringing here, and thus I shall do farewell. I shall leave. I wish you, you have, I have no. I mean, I won't really benefit from anything if I fight him. I'm just going to get to where I need to go. Seriously? You son of a bitch. Get out of here. Get out of here with that shit, boy. Eat shit, boy. Alright. Ow. I hate that they can do that. Climb a giant dragon. Alright. Giant dead dragon. Giant dead dragon. Alright. Let me get my punk ass in here. Alright. Do a flip. I guess he didn't flip. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set a disgrace, but let me get this gold seed first and then this is where I'm going to end. Go, go. You are the wall. No one on earth can make you fall. There we go. We got it. Alright. Let's get our flask situated. How many flasks is that? Nine to three. Man, if I can get ten to three, that'll be so freaking cool. Okay. So yeah, that is how we are going to end for today. Uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, get get a watchful look at the um, at the wall without his mask on. Because as you can see, it's my little brother. Literally looks exactly like him too. Alright, so yeah, that's how we're going to end for today. Um, next Wednesday, we'll continue more with Jar Sama and also with um, Shad the Wall. Um... Jar Sama's going to have all of his gear and be leveled up and everything just like um, Shad is as well. He's going to be literally the polar opposite where he is going to have some of the highest attack that you can get in the game, which is going to be fun. I cannot wait for that. Um, my next stream will be on Friday, which will be Retro Friday. If I'm filling up to it, Depending on how the weather is and how it affects me, I will be continuing more Pokemon Emerald Mythical Edition Randomizer. Uh, that's going to be fun. And then um, next Monday, 
will be Random Monday. I will be starting the two DLCs for Terminator Resistance. So that's going to be fun. Um, and then, of course, next Wednesday will be Soulsborne Wednesday, where I'll be doing more with Jarsama and Shod the Wall. Um, if I could please get a exclamation point raid one and exclamation point raid two in chat, please. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to try and do a raid. So let's see. I'll pull up my actual chat here. My bit rate seems good. Thank you, Mr. Rumble Roses. Much obliged, sir. So please get your raid messages ready. We're going to go raid someone. So let's see. Let me see. Who is streaming right now that I can raid? Because I need to get me some rest, too. Let's see. So we could either do knickknacks or we could do candy Momoko. Let's see. Momo has 47 viewers. Knickknacks has 13. I think we will do knickknacks. So like I said, go ahead and get your raid messages ready. Um, we're going to go raid knickknacks. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to go do that. Um, all right. So I will see you guys on Friday for a retro Friday where I'll be doing more Pokemon Emerald Mythical Edition Randomizer. If I'm not feeling good, I'll let you guys know on my subscriber only discord and also on Twitter. I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, um, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. We're going to do a little, yeah, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am your friendly neighborhood game machine, and this was Elden Ring for PS5, this is the PS5 version, where we did some stuff with Jar Sama to get him ready, and we did some stuff with, uh, Shad the Wall. And until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, peace out, happy gaming, my friends, and please stay safe out there.